For those of you who are not sure it is worth the effort because things are pretty good or because you think things will not change or because you simply do not feel you know enough about those who are standing, I say that all those reactions are understandable but a little negative. If you think things are good and should not change, go out and vote. If you things are not good and should change, go out and vote. If you do not know enough about those who are standing, there is plenty of information about seek it out and go out and vote. That is part of our fundamental freedom, indeed guaranteed by the first protocol to the European Convention on Human Rights, an instrument which arose out of the very conflict which led to the occupation and to Liberation Day itself. Video, young and old islanders alike twirled together on the dance floor during last year's celebrations. Islanders are being invited to dig out vintage clothes to join in the celebrations at the 73rd anniversary of Liberation Day today, which will include 1940s-themed activities at the Weybridge and a classical concert inside a bunker at Corbière. For the informal afternoon arrangements vintage dress is highly recommended to embrace the spirit of the day as aisle activities will have a 1940s theme. Food stalls will be selling local produce with the 1940s flavor, while artisan and vintage stalls will offer goods from, or influenced by that era. There will also be a themed vintage afternoon tea tent. A dance floor will be set up to allow islanders to join in the dancing with a Jersey big band, local period trio The Optimistic Voices, The Word on the Street, and The Jersey Hoppers. Visitors will also find a big screen on the Way Bridge, broadcasting the ceremony in the morning and showing archive footage, historic clips and entertainment from period films later in the day, pictured. The 73D anniversary celebrations will run from 9.35 to 17.30. A public ceremony will take place at 1500 at the crematorium, Westmount, in the presence of His Excellency the Lieutenant Governor, the Bailiff and Chief Minister in memory of the 101 foreign forced workers who died in the island during occupation as well as service men and women who paid the ultimate sacrifice to free the oppressed. Today will also mark the start of the Liberation International Music Festival, which celebrates its 10th anniversary. The festival will kick off at 14.30 with a musical walk around the coastline and fortifications at Le Corbiere. Local historian, Ned Malik de Carteret, will guide the visitors along the paths, stopping at intervals to be serenaded by violinist Harriet McKenzie and fellow musicians. A special concert will follow at 1800 inside the atmospheric M19 mortar bunker at Corbiere. Solo cellist Dora Cocas will perform Bach Suite in G Major and Codaly Sonata in the depths of the bunker which will provide the perfect backdrop to the emotionally stirring pieces. She will be joined by Harriet McKenzie to play a duet for strings. Handel's dramatic showpiece Pasacalia is a finale to this remarkable outdoor concert. Pictured, solo cellist Dora Cocas will perform inside M19 Mortar Bunker at Corbiere at 1800. As part of the festival, which aims to get as many children involved as possible, over 2,000 school children will be taking part in a series of master classes and workshops as well as educational events, Chairman James. Muse commented, celebrating every Liberation Day is important to us at Liberation International Music Festival as it is both a celebration and a memorial for everything that has been achieved since the end of WW2. However, 2018 Liberation Festival is a special event for us, as it is our 10th anniversary, and to celebrate we are hosting the world premiere concerto by Erlen Wallen MBE on the 19th of May at Jersey Opera House.